So it'll be the Fighting Hawks receiving the opening kick from Hunter Dustman. And we are underway here on Military Appreciation Day on Labor on Veterans Day weekend. UND with the to watch is inside the trenches there. Who's going to win that battle? South Dakota State's defensive line, one of the best in the country. Big challenge for that offensive line for North Dakota, but they're up for the challenge. You're from Rock Valley, Iowa, in the northwestern part of that state, in on the stop among others. Second and ten. Rumpho finding Smith out of the backfield. Isaiah stumbled just a bit when he made that grab, or else he might have been off to the races. Colby Hurd season for the senior from Minneapolis. His gain of nine sets up third and short. Rumpho will follow Smith and pick up two into Jackrabbit territory to move the chains once again. So your Seidel now in the backfield. That's Nate DeMontanac, who caught his first career touchdown pass against the Sycamores last week in motion. Pressure off the edge. Rumpho will dump it across. That's caught by Vaughn. A penalty flag comes out as well as run. Heady play by the junior. Roughing the passer. Defense, number nine. It's a 15 yard penalty. First down. Rumpho steps up, looking for Bo Belquist, and he overshoots him. Good coverage downfield. That's Tucker Large, the all conference safety who's slowly working well within his range to put points on the board. Rumpho is the holder. Newberger, the long snapper, but this one is wide to the left and no good. With the exchange between Gus Miller and Johnson, it ends up going down as a loss of one. Third and 11. Granowski to fire. Pass nearly intercepted. Devin Hembry, North Dakota's top cornerback. Defensively, and again, it comes down to the decision making, and, and Simon has done a really good job of that this year. Yeah, the confidence and the trust that has been built up as Isaiah Smith breaks free. Isaiah Smith, touchdown, North Dakota. 62 yards to the house. Answer for North Dakota. Great job by the offensive line. Isaiah Smith able to break the first tackle, keep his feet, and then it's off to the races. Great start for North Dakota's offense and a huge play for the Viking Hawks. He has been one of the balance after nearly being tripped up at the line and the acceleration enough to outrun the Jackrabbit defense. Seeing Jamal Dixon, it'll be Hembry and Scott and Clayton Bishop seeing a lot of time in the cornerback position. Amar Johnson on second and seven, able to get the first down. Navratil came in late that time on Davin Stoffel, the redshirt freshman tight ends. But the two Johnson boys who are not related, of course, Amar and Angel have filled in pretty well with Kirby Voorhees slotting in as the third back. Play action on second and seven. That's Griffin Wilde, who was able to hang on to the football. The sophomore from Sioux Falls bobbled it initially on their second offensive possession. Here is Angel Johnson now, the smaller but quicker of the two backs, 5'9", 195, out of Viborg, South Dakota. Third down and two. The Jacks, one of the best third down teams in the Valley. They'll keep it on the ground, but they will not get enough. A sea of green there to meet Amar Johnson. No gain on the play. Conference performer is both a place kicker and a punter, but he has missed four of his last six attempts. Good snap, good holds. And this one does go right down the middle. So the senior from the Twin Cities gets the Jacks on the board. Third down and one. That's Belquist in motion. Smith gets the carry, and he is met in the backfield. Great penetration from Levi Vandenboss again. Trying to gain after the, after the play on Sports Online Conduct, offense number 51. The 15 yard penalty, still fourth down. Difficult there on, on that penalty. Luke Silvernail on, back from near his goal line. The sophomore punter hits a high one. Dallas Beanham tries to get everybody away. Gronowski's numbers, not quite what they've been in recent seasons. Certainly over 3,000 yards last year, so efficient in his career. They've never not made the FCS title game when he's been the true starter. He hands off to Amar Johnson this time. The even opening 15 minutes, the difference. North Dakota able to take advantage of a long touchdown run. South Dakota State stopped for three on their best drive, but perhaps that's going to change now. Angel Johnson gets the corner and into the end zone for the touchdown. 
There is a flag by the South Dakota State sideline, but I believe it's going to be an offside call against the Fighting Hawks. Johnson from 30 yards out. Offside. Defense, number 50. That penalty's decline. Result of play. Touchdown. Well, and this is a great job by South Dakota State, staying on blocks on the outside perimeter there. And then Johnson just uses his speed. He gets around the corner and then is athletic enough to stay in bounds here. Again, gets around. Helping lead the way. Dustman's extra point is up and through. So on the South Dakota State, not a team that has a ton of sacks on the year, just 15 now. That's ninth in the Valley. North Dakota doesn't give up many either. How much doing for Gavin Zebarth, his first carry of the day on third and forever. Especially short fields. Dallas Beanham now, one of the best return men in the Valley, who has a punt return for a touchdown this year, is standing right at the 50. Silver Nails punt high, spiraling. Will force Beanham back a couple of yards. But Mark Renowski trying to yeah. stop those two guys yeah. with only nine defenders on the field. Yeah, good luck with that. North Dakota trying to do so with 11 here, but Johnson able to pick up six and move the chains. Except that he's not out there today. Gronowski now going to the air. Griffin Wildey, touchdown, Jack Rebitz. A perfect ball from Gronowski. South Dakota. Again, you're going to see on the bottom of your screen here, again, Wildey does a nice job getting open right over top the defender's head. Great, perfectly thrown football by Gronowski. Another quick drive by South Dakota State results in seven after the extra point by Dustman. A 25-yard pick. Go to above 50% on the season at third down. Faced with third and six. It'll be Smith out of the backfield. Hit just as the football touched his hands. That was McGoy again on the contact. Pass falls incomplete. Another punch. You get seven yards on a first down there. Boy, that sets you up to be able to do anything you want in your playbook. The Jack's already over 100 on the ground. Angel Johnson, a big reason for that. And he has got the edge again. Tyler Erkman able to usher him out. The speed of gain of 13 through the air, in quotes, for Angel Johnson. First and 10 from the 39. Granowski with time. Downfield. Wildy there again. Touchdown, South Dakota State. Second hookup of the half from Gronowski to Wildy. This one from 39 yards out. South Dakota State humming right now. Uh, look at the time, too. The offensive line does a great job. And Gronowski, another great ball. And Wildy once again, another touchdown. And that's against Devin Hembry, one of the best corners for uh, North Dakota. Porter. Hunter Dustman's extra point is up. And through, just in front of Rumpho and Smith. Third down and four. Rumpho scrambling for his life again. The ball came loose. Jackrabbits say they have it. And they do. Simon Rumpho took a big shot as he was scrambling for the first down. You see Dawson Ripper to emerging with the football, the sophomore from Larchwood, Iowa. The Northern Illinois transfer coming up with the fumble recovery. Oh, it was Spalding right. coming yeah. in. Yeah, it was Spalding. You're exactly right. Either the helmet or the shoulder pad right on that football position to really blow this game open. We'll keep it on the ground. First carry of the day for Kirby Voorhees. Able to break into the second level. Voorhees, the red shoes, and in that position. The former UND safety trying to get his team to rise up on third and four. Amar Johnson up the middle, shy of the first down. In this first half, Gronowski. He needed two full yards. It'll depend on the spot. He got a good push from behind. People in this part of the world have seen Quincy Vaughn do that to great effect for the team. And pretty good gentleman to run behind. Gronowski just gets it by the nose of the football. Mark, by the way, 6'3", 230, not a small man. And Mar Johnson in the backfields. 
Gronowski to throw for this, looking for Wilde in his third touchdown of the day. That was well defended by Hembry. Both Amar Johnson and Voorhees in the backfield. Amar gets the handoff, he cuts it back inside and is into the end zone once again. First rushing score of the day for Amar Johnson. And the Jack Rabbit offense able to take advantage of the fumble. Oh, and it's that same out, outside off tackle run there. They've had success with this entire backup roll essentially to Isaiah Davis. Able to notch another rushing score as Dustman hammers home the extra point. We'll keep you posted on what's going on. Coming up at the break. Second and short, North Dakota does convert on the first down. The quick hitter will pick up six. Needs something positive here at the end of this half. Rumfo gets rid of it. Good comeback route by Belquist. The catch out to the 41. North Dakota will hustle to the line. Ball. Second and three. Jacks rush four. Rumpel gets it away to Seidel, who's got the first down and gets out of bounds. Clock will stop now at the 31 yard line. Fifth. Jack Roberts showing coverage here. The rush four. Rumpel with time. Pass too high for DeMontinac. He would have had some work to do after the catch. Capable of hitting a 50 yard plus field goal. Rumpel, the holder, David Newberger to snap it. It's blocked. Kick is blocked. Great job by the Jackrabbit special teams to get a hands up. Sideline. Look at the penetration, though, by South Dakota State. And that's what you're taught. Hey, get that penetration, drive, 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 and then get your hands up. And when you've got tall, big bodies out there. It's Wilde in motion. They'll keep it on the ground to Angel Johnson. Good open field tackle by Pedigo, short of the sticks. It's continuing. And there we go, Gronowski, he's got this in his locker. He will pooch this. It'll take a jackrabbit bounce and be down inside the five yard line. Addition to the South Dakota State scoreboard. He will do just that. As time expires on the first half from the Alaris Center. A late penalty flag will come out after the final whistle sounded. There was some pushing and shoving after the play had ended. To start the second half, Angel Johnson, who's been a bright spot, along with Amar Johnson, back to receive the kick from C.J. Elrich. And it will be Amar to take this. Tripped up and diving forward across the 25-yard line. Third and one. Kirby Voorhees, the tailback behind Gronowski. It'll be Voorhees with the carry, and he's able to lunge forward. He got hit right at the line of scrimmage. But the four receivers for Gronowski, that's Wilde in motion. Gronowski fires too high for his star target man. Would have been enough for the first down. Good pressure by Navratil. To seven points, second best in the nation behind South Dakota. Smith again. This one breaks wide open. A touchdown saving. A four run foe. 10 one to play in the third. They need the 48 to keep the drive going. Rumpho with time. Wanted to take the deep shot. It was not there. And he will get dumped back at the 35 yard line. Officially, it's the second. Rayton Gannon in the tight end room. They need his playmaking ability. His catch makes it third and one. And now Angel Johnson has enough for the first down across the 40 to the 41 yard line. A little over that average as you see there with nine carries for 82 yards and a touchdown. He'll get it again on the read play. Another first down for the former Viborg Hurley Cougar out to the 47 yard line. Five forty-eight and counting left in the third. Hembry coming on the corner blitz. Gronowski beats it to Wilde. Third touchdown of the day for Griffin Wilde. Gronowski able to withstand the pressure and put it on a plate. Well, and Devin Hembry coming with the corner blitz here just does not get there in time. And Wilde once again continues to beat the... Six plays, 73 yards. Dustman remains perfect on the day. 
Griffin Wildey, by the way, with seven touchdowns now on the season as Zebarth has some space. They've had a couple of these that they've been able to pop a pick. Five minutes left in the third. Zebarth again, able to bounce this outside. Gavin Zebarth lowering the shoulder and picking up the first down. Simon Rumpho, 11 of 17, just 81 yards through the air. He has been pressured, and this Jackrabbit secondary has not given him many windows to throw into. He'll go short to Vaughn. Great open field tackle. They need the 42 of the opposition to move the chains. Rumpho will lob one up. Intercepted. Tucker Large able to win that battle over Caden Dennis. Second week in a row. Well, we had mentioned how, you know, Tucker Large is on Bo Belquist the entire day and what a terrific job he's done. You know, same thing here. He's in great coverage, undercuts this route underneath the receiver, picks that thing off. Illinois, same hometown as Gronowski, waiting in the wings. Quick hitch outside to Stoffel, the tight ends. Quarters of play here at the Alera Center in Grand Forks. A balanced attack from South Dakota State. They have locked down UND on the offensive end as well. A rare misfire here, though, on third up once again. First and ten from his own eight-yard line. Zebart the tailback. Rumpa will find Belquist for just the third time today. Empire, you're right in the middle of everything. Belquist again, a sure-handed grab, makes the first man miss. There's a that big shot. Out? That was my thought, too. Zebarth in the backfield. That's Dennis in motion. It'll go to Zebarth. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Great penetration that time by Zach Wilson. Another one of those senior defensive linemen coming back from an early seas. Play some key cogs, and they just keep moving. Well, and I think in this league, if you want to be successful, it, that, that's where it's got to start. And you, you've got to be physical up front. And South Dakota State obviously fits that mold. And they know what they consecutive 100 yard rushing performance, the first two of his career. Voorhees on third and one, able to plow ahead across the 25 to the 27. Voorhees, who is a home run hitter, able to pick up 11, pick a 12 now out to the 39 yard line. Slot receiver to Obrowski's outside target man frame. Third down and 23, Amar Johnson with a bounce outside and eventually be contained at the 34. From Hugo, Minnesota. Rumpho in trouble again, avoids the initial pressure. Nobody open downfield and Simon will just run out of kids. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. And I think they've got a blueprint of what works for South Dakota State, and it, it really has worked in a lot of their sports. But they know what they want to recruit. They want to recruit those Midwest kids for the most part, kids that want to put, play for South Dakota State. The playoffs is probably out of the picture for you. No need to kneel this for John Bell as the clock will expire in the Alaris Center. Bubba Schweiger and company not beaten often in this building, but Jimmy Rogers and the Jackrabbits able to do the trick today. 38 to 7 the final. 38 unanswered points for Mark Gronowski and this Jackrabbit offense. Enough to get the victory. Third straight win for South Dakota State now in this series and on the season as well.